All right, uh, welcome back to another video. Today I'm actually going to be talking about the Cache OS handheld ISO, but I actually installed it onto my desktop. So as many of you might know that, you know, NVIDIA drivers are not, you know, super compatible with the uh, Steam, Steam OS uh, distros. You know, for instance, like uh, Bazite, you can't do uh, the game mode. If you have an NVIDIA, you have to have um, AMD in order to install it with the game mode enabled. And that's the same with uh, like Camaro OS and uh, a few others. But uh, somehow Cache OS has, um, you know, done some, some magic here and you are able to download it and install it onto your desktop. Um, and I have an NVIDIA card, as you can see here, that I have an NVIDIA um, 4070. Um, installed on here. It's actually running on the Cache OS Decify uh, version. So basically, it's literally like uh, just like Steam OS. Um, when I first installed it, you know the the bar and stuff was at the bottom. Looked exactly like Steam OS. Had the Steam OS icon. Um, had the Steam OS you know wallpaper. You know already installed. Um, so everything was you know uh, themed uh, with the Steam OS and actually booted directly into the uh, game mode. Um, as well. So I actually moved my game mode um, icon up here to the top right corner. So it's not like on my desktop, but um, I can switch to game mode, you know, directly from there. Um, and you can even uh, still install a lot of the game mode on uh, different things um, like the uh, Deki installer. And I also installed the non Steam uh, launchers desktop options. Um, so that way I could install like uh, they have easy installers for uh, GeForce Now and like Boosteroid and some other things uh, within their you know plugin option. And then obviously having the uh, Decky installer um, is nice to be able to theme and you know change a lot of the the settings and things and make it more of a cohesive you know system. Um, so yeah, so everything uh, seems to be working uh, in the you know desktop. It's just pretty much regular you know KDE. So there's no really you know crazy things here, um, but if I actually switch over to the game mode um, option, it will, you know, shut down Steam and then switch over to game mode. Um, so it's actually running the actual session, not just like, you know, big picture mode. So yeah, so as you can see, now I'm in game mode. Um, and so when I'm in game mode, you know, the mouse um, still works, I can, you know, access you know, everything through the using my keyboard and mouse if I want to. Um, but obviously I can just, you know, add a uh, controller here. Uh, so if I get my controller, um, obviously everything is working now with uh, the controller and I'm, you know, obviously still on my NVIDIA uh, graphics card and everything seems to be working. Now I did notice um, you do get some tearing if you turn off HDR. Uh, so for whatever reason, um, you do have to have HDR enabled, which I mean, isn't a downfall unless maybe your monitor does not have um, HDR. I'm not sure how that works, but my you know specific one display settings uh, does have HDR. And so when I disable it, um, you can see you start getting these, uh, you know, flickering happening. And so that happens like pretty much throughout the entire, you know, UI. Um, and so you, get, you continuously get this flickering going on there. But if I do, you know, re-enable, if I do re-enable the um, HDR, everything, you know, just stops and you the, the flickering stops and everything, you know, works fine. I have noticed there is like a little bit of like a hesitation or it's a little bit sluggish when just navigating through the UI, um, but it's not super noticeable. It's only noticeable because I have this installed on another device. It does not have an NVIDIA card and it. it's just a little bit smoother on there. But yeah, so I've, you know, installed a couple games. I have Marvel Rivals and I have uh, the finals installed and everything runs um, pretty well. I can get, you know, Marvel Rivals running at uh, about 120 frames per second uh, consistently, kind of just locks in at 120 fr frames per second. So I'll boot this up and um, just show you that, you know, this is, it's actually running and working, but hopefully this means that they're, you know, they're working on it. Cache OS was able to, you know, get things, you know, working. Hopefully, you know, Steam OS will be available for you know, the desktop, no matter what card that you are using for it. And you don't have to, you know, rely on having a AMD um, card because obviously it's just nice to have, you know, the, the gaming UI, especially if you want to have this as like your, you know, strictly your gaming PC, which is, this is basically, because this is my gaming desktop. Um, I have a laptop that I remote into this desktop to uh, game on. Um, and then I also can remote in from like my Steam Deck and some other devices as well. So this is my main gaming PC, but it's just, it's great to have, you know, the game mode option, you know, on it and everything working. So um, I just wanted to share this, you know, have this, uh, 
the, the, the ability to be able to do this on NVIDIA. Um, but Cash US seems to be doing some some pretty good things here to get everything working on here. So I don't know if that was their intention, but there is an NVIDIA option when you do go to install it. In the uh, Grub menu, you can select um, NVIDIA uh, cards. So um, clearly they you know did that on purpose to be able to run this on a NVIDIA. So I'm gonna wait for these uh, shaders to load up and then I'll be right back. I'm not anyone's sidekick. I'm not a symbol like Steve. I'm just a soldier trying to do his job. 30 seconds before you attack. Get ready. here. what I need.
done unspeakable things. I hope it's not too late to set them right.